everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today we'll be opening this Gyarados EX10 and it's not just any EX, it's a gosh dang shiny! We got Red Gyarados up in here and Naru's still kind of hanging out with us for this one but of course since I'm gonna start doing this for tins now we're not only gonna open this and take a look at the booster packs we'll also be taking the code card and going and playing some stuff on the TCG online so definitely stay tuned for that if you're interested in the online otherwise just stick around for the packs and I hope you enjoy! So let's go ahead and get the plastic off of this guy! Okay I'll go ahead and give the plastic stick to her and see if she likes it. There you go. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at the tin before we pop the lid off. So of course on the front we got Gyarados EX. On the front uh, down here I guess we also have that. There's the Machamp. We've already opened that tin. The back we've got a Pokemon logo. And over here we've just got the Mewtwo which we've got that tin as well. So we'll get to that eventually. But let's go ahead and take the lid off here. And let's take a close up of this very very nice EX card. So Gyarados EX right here, 180 HP, not even a Mega and he's already got 180. Stormy Seas, flip a coin until you get Tails for each Heads, search your deck for a Water Energy card and attach it to this Pokemon, shuffle your deck afterwards. He's also got Splash Burn which takes 4 energies but this attack does 10 damage to each of your bench Pokemon. Wow, okay, so that hurts your own guys, but I guess it does a lot of damage, so it's kind of worth it, maybe. But we've also got X and Y number 106 for that guy, and his retreat cost is 4, so... Yeah, not very good at retreating, but a very, very cool looking card, so we'll set him down here. Now, here is the code card. I'm gonna use that myself, so I'm not gonna bother showing it. I mean, I guess I can show it, because... You're not going to be able to use it because I'm already going to use that one. So just a heads up. We've also got a Breakpoint pack. We've got Breakpoint again. And over here we've got Primal Clash. And we've got Furious Fist. So those are our four packs. Let's go ahead and save the uh, Gyarados one for last since this is the Gyarados tin. Or I guess we'll set this guy over here. Okay, let's get to the first Breakpoint pack right here with the uh, Luxray Break. Which I'm pretty sure I have. Okay, let's get to it and see if we get a break finally. Haven't gotten a break in a while, even after doing six packs on Wednesday, did not get any breaks out of that. They are pretty rare. I think they're even more rare than EXs, to be honest with you. Alright, here we've got a Sigilyph. There we go, focus in here. We've got Sigilyph, Reverse Valley, there's a Delinquent, Staryu, there's Blitzel being all cute, hugging some flowers. We've got Numel being sassy, there's Shinx, man, a lot of cute and a lot of sass in this one. Another cuteness, we've got Ducklet, and there's a Phantom Reverse Holographic with a Pangoro Rare. So, uh, I wish Pangoro was a holographic. I wish that Pangoro had an EX at some point. I mean, does he? Is there a Pangoro EX in any set? I don't think there is, but Pangoro is one of my favorites from Gen 6, so I would love to see him get an EX if he hasn't got one already. There's the Primal Clash uh, code card right there. We're doing the Primal Clash pack here, and we have a Nidorina. There's Silent Lab. This is like the audio foam. Like on Wednesday, uh, the cat was kind of messing with the audio foam on my wall. That's pretty much what I have. I've showed that off before, but yeah, she was trying to like dig into that crud. Okay, there's that. Let's get back out here. Yeah, let's see, we've got that Silent Lab. We have Repeat Ball. There's Feel. What the? I never really paid attention to the background, but there's a dude back there freaking out. He's like, what the crud is that Feel doing? We've got a Lotad. There's Bidoof hugging a rock for some reason. We've got a Staryu. Volbeat, Reverse Holographic, Rare Kyogre, very cool, and we have, alright, we got a Mag Cargo Ancient Traits, also not a holographic, so I've really not been doing that great on pulls lately. We got one good pull on uh, Wednesday, but for the most part my pulls have been pretty duddy this week. Alright, let's get to the Furious Fist pack, and then we'll have one more breakpoint pack after this. So there's the Furious Fist code card, and let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can get ourselves another Polyrath for my collection here. We've got a Corinna. There's Hitmonlee, Fossil Researcher, there's Plusle, Poliwag, yeah, can we get the whole line? Well, actually, I don't, I don't think we can get Poliwag, or Poly, uh, Whirl at this point, unless we get him in Reverse Hollow form. We've got Electabuzz, Trap Inch, Noibat, the Reverse Hollow is an Eevee, so no Poliwhirl for me, but will we get a Polyrath? No, we'll get a Flygon non-hollow. I pronounced a lot of those words so weird, Poliwaf. Yes, we've got, we almost got Poliwaf, guys, but... Well, we've got one more pack here. This is, of course, the Shiny Gyarados pack from the Shiny Gyarados tin. That means this one's got to be something good, right? Okay, there's the last code card for the video. And let's see if we've got one good pack right here. We have a Dewblade. We have a Lapras. We have Potion. Blitzel once again. There's another Numel and another Shinx. Is this just the whole line? Yep, Ducklet, the same commons. Okay, I think Hunnage is different. I can't remember, but I think those might have been all the same commons. And we've got Clefable. I think I just gave myself a minor paper cut. Don't worry about that. But we've got another rare. So two non hollow or two reverse hollow rares in this one, which is pretty sick. And the last card of the week we've got, all right, Aegis Slash Holographic. So, are you kidding me? 
I'm trying to celebrate getting a holographic and you're licking your butt. Come on, dude. Okay, we're going to put that out of frame there. So, yeah, we got one holographic out of this at least, which I'm pretty excited about. It's got Megaton Slash and Painful Sword. So, from this point on, if you guys want to stick around for the gameplay, definitely stick around. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. But, let's go ahead and put that code card in and get some online gameplay going. I just want to point out that this deck is called Magikarp's Revenge. That is amazing. Alright, we found an opponent and their name is Squack and Moose. And they're probably going to have a custom made deck. I, If you guys didn't catch them a champ one... Um, we're not playing with theme decks right now. They are being able to use custom decks, so they could very well have a very, very good deck. I'm going to go ahead and choose to go first here. They've got a purple deck box up in the right there. Let's see. We got some Seeking action, and we've got a Regice. Not bad. We've got Tierno to draw some cards with, and we've also got a Goldeen. So I'm really hoping these guys do not have a Grass-type deck, or a Steel-type, I guess, because that's going to affect Regice. I think what I'll do is I'll start with Goldeen, and you only need one energy card, it looks like, to get the full use out of Seeking. They're not the best Pokemon, but... Well, it looks like it's going to be the best option just to put one on them and then have them fight while Regice gets powered up because he's going to be a lot more effective. Now, if we can get to that Gyarados EX, that would be great as well. But yeah, like I said, we're going to start off with that Goldeen here. And we'll put the one Regice on the bench as well. So let's drop that down. And there we go. Hit done. So let's see what we draw here. It looks like they're going to start off with a Han Edge. So they are going to have some Steel stuff, it looks like. Well, Skarmory is actually a normal, but I believe Han Edge is uh, later forms. I believe they do have some Steel type action. Uh, here we've got a Magikarp, so that might play into things with Gyarados there. But I think what I'm going to do is attach that one energy card. Now, we can't attack on the first turn. Uh, I guess I might as well draw three cards. There's really not any reason not to. Here we've got a Dive Ball. Search your deck for a Water Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand. I guess we'll go ahead and do that because we can draw the Gyarados if it's in the deck, right? So let's look around. We've got Lapras, Starmie. There's the Gyarados we're looking for. We've got a regular Gyarados as well, but I think I want the EX right here. So let's see. Flip a coin until you get heads. Looking pretty good. Splash Burn looks good. So let's go ahead and draw that guy. And we'll hit Done. And we'll put that guy to our hand. So now the question is, do we power up Regice or do we power up Gyarados EX? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. So let's see, if we get four energy on this guy, this attack does 10 damage to each of your benched Pokemon. So we will hurt our own guys, but 130 damage is pretty huge. Let's see, Stormy sees flip a coin until you get Tails for each heads. Search your deck for a water energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. Okay, so basically we could power up very quickly with that, potentially. He's going to use an escape rope. Um, I didn't see what that does. Oh, I guess it swaps my Pokemon for me. So we're going to be stuck with Regice right here, which is kind of a problem. I was thinking of not putting him down to begin with because of this, but, well, it's a little bit too late for that. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to hold on to the Gyarados. We'll put that down eventually, but for now, I think we're going to just start fighting with Regice. He's probably going to power up to try to take that down, but... Yeah, well, I'll just have to let it rock for now. I could evolve to Seeking, but not a whole lot of reason to do that, as far as I know. So, I guess we'll just end the turn right here. I'm regretting putting that Red Ice down. I really shouldn't have, but oh well. Okay, so he's going to go for the Psych Up, which is going to do uh, 40 damage right there, which is pretty big. So, the way his attack works is if he does the same attack twice in a row, it'll start to do more damage, which is actually pretty scary. Um... I'm starting to not want to power up this Regice because it's probably just going to get killed, but I think I will put one more on it just to do Ice Beam, and that way I can maybe paralyze this guy. If I get heads, please paralyze him! I am not going to get heads, so he might be able to kill me this turn if he has some way to do 20 extra damage. If he doesn't, then I'm going to survive and I'll be able to kill him. Of course, after that, he'll be able to kill my Regice, so I might have to retreat. We'll just see how I'm feeling. The only problem is Regice is very slow. His retreat cost is 3. So if I want to pull him back, it's going to be very, very expensive. Now, the upside is none of his Pokemon back here actually have any energy cards, and I don't think they can attack with just one. The stab here is only going to do one uh, damage counter, so I think if I kill this LGM, I'm actually in a pretty decent spot. So I think what I'm going to do, let's take a look at Rough Seas. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 30 damage from each of his or her water Pokemon and electric Pokemon. So, I think what I'm going to do is play down that, that way I can start healing my Regice. Uh, and I think I'll put down the Gyarados EX. Let's put the water energy on top of that guy. And let's go ahead and do Ice Beam to take down this LGM and get our first prize card. So this is actually going pretty decent so far. We got the heads for the paralysis, but it does not matter since they're dead at... And what? What the? Oh, the Pokemon has extra HP. Well, 
Probably should have paid attention to that. I don't know how much extra they have. I've never really had to deal with that. But they're paralyzed, so I guess it's okay. They're going to remove one energy from me, and I don't have any energy in reserve. So that's kind of a bummer, but we'll be able to heal with this Rough Seas. And because he's paralyzed, that's going to take the effect out of his Psych Up. So now it's only going to do the uh, lower amount of damage because he hasn't been able to use it two times in a row. And here we go. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. If you do, discard uh, all energy attached to that Pokemon. So it might be worth doing just to stall because I can't attack him anyways. So... Uh, do I want to do it? I guess I will, because they will kill me if I don't do it, so let's go ahead and play the Max Potion. We will lose the one energy, but oh well. I think we're going to go ahead and end the turn here, and we'll just have to see how it goes. Now, I'm trying to look here. Let me see if I can get a glimpse. Like, how much extra HP do you actually have? It just says extra, but I just don't see how much extra. It says 50. He's got 60 on him, so maybe it gives him 20 extra, and he's actually got 70. I think it might be 40 extra, if I remember correctly, but I... Really don't know if I do. So at this point, I've got a lot of different Pokemon. Unfortunately, no energy card, so I can't really get anything going. Once the Regice is down, I'll be able to use this Gyarados, but maybe the stalling tactics were not the right way to go, because it's actually going to be stalling in their favor for now. But, oh well, let's just go ahead and end turn. That's really all we can do at this point. I can't attack. I can't retreat. I can't do anything except for maybe play some basic Pokemon, which I don't really think is very valuable right now, so we're in a bit of a pickle. I probably should have just let them take the Reg Ice so I could send out Gyarados and start doing stuff to him, but oh well. Uh, let's see. So, yep, they're just going to do the damage doing Psych Up, which is going to do 40, which means next turn they're going to kill it. So, actually, the stalling was pretty bad for me. So, this is switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with his or her active Pokemon. Now, I could do that, but I just, once again, I don't think that's really going to be something useful for me. So, unfortunately, we're in a pretty bad spot, and I'm just going to have to pass the kill right here. So, they're going to get the kill, and I'll send out my Gyarados EX. Now, I probably could have been using this, uh... Okay, well, they got rid of it. I don't actually know how to... I've never used the stadium before, guys, so if I actually had to do something to use that, my bad. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but I don't really know how stadiums work. I thought I was going to do it automatically, but I guess I had to actively do it, so not sure about that. But it says right here, discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards from your deck and put one of them onto your hand. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play that for sure, and let's go ahead and discard, I guess... Well, we'll go ahead and discard the Magikarp with Epic Splash. And this will let me choose a card here. So let's see what we got. Any damage done to this Pokemon is attached to is reduced by 20. That actually sounds pretty good. Flip a coins of head, search your deck for a card. I think we're going to go with the Hard Charm. And I'm going to go ahead and attach that to my Gyarados EX right here. So that way he'll take less damage. And I'm going to go ahead and use his first attack here. So flip until we get Tails. We could potentially get a lot of energies. We got two, three energies. Okay, we got all three energies right here. So let's go ahead and grab those and hit done. Does that attach him directly? I think it does. Wow, we are powered up, guys. Splashburn is coming out. This is why I have not been playing a bunch of basic Pokemon, because Splashburn's going to hit my own guys. So it's going to unfortunately hit that Goldeen, but I don't know if that's that big of a deal, because I'm going to start one-shotting his guys. It's 130 damage, and just taking a look here, nothing, not even Tornadus can survive that. So if he can't deal with this guy, that is a bad situation for them. He's going to start powering up that Tornadus, though. Uh, he's got the double colorless energy, so we can do pushdown. So he can swap to my Goldeen here, but I just don't know if that's going to matter too much. Goldeen has one energy, and they uh, only have a one-cost retreat, so I can just swap back around. So they're going to go for the Psych Up, get the 20 damage right there. Of course, I've got 180 HP. Holy crud. So I think what I'm going to do... Do I want to use this? Um, I could use this just to kill the Tornadus right now. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get rid of that Tornadus before he can get anything going with that. So we'll swap it over. We'll go and do Splash Burn and get that thing killed. Now that's what I'm talking about, guys. That is some strategy right there. So let's go ahead and draw a prize card. And let's see what we got. We have a special energy right here, Splash Energy. This card can only be attached to a water Pokemon. This card provides water energy only while this card is attached to a water Pokemon. If the water Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by your damage from your opponent's Pokemon, put that Pokemon into your hand. Wow. So even if he knocks me out, I can just play it right back down. That sounds fantastic. But it might be overkill at this point because I've already got so many energy cards. Uh... Okay, now I don't have all the energy cards I need, so I guess we're going to put that splash back on there. So now he just played, he just did some kind of attack. Let's see what that does. Uh, so it's going to do damage to me, five damage to me if I attack it. I think I'll still attack it, though. 
I've got a second Gyarados EX. Holy crud, because this deck does have two of them. I'm not sure if the Hard Charm is going to affect me attacking him, but let's find out. Let's go do Splash Burn right here. And let's see if I take 50 or if I take 30. Uh, I take 50. Okay, so it looks like the uh, Hard Charm did not affect that particular attack. But we're going to go ahead and draw a Lapras. All right, looking not too bad so far. Now, he might be able to kill both of my guys somehow in one turn before I can put stuff down. I don't know if that's something that they could possibly do, but if they can do that, I'll lose automatically. I'm just kind of stalling and not wanting to put stuff down. Obviously, I don't want to hit more, more of my guys with splash, char uh, splash Burn here. And one thing I forgot to mention, or maybe I mentioned it before, I, I don't know, but if the opponent kills Gyarados EX, they actually get to draw two prize cards, not just one. So that's why they're so powerful, is it's a big negative if you happen to get killed. So yes, he's going to go for the swoop attack, and it looks like they're trying to target Goldeen because they know Splash Burn is affecting that. Uh, I've got more water energy right here, so I think what I'm going to do, it is going to take a little bit of damage on this Gyarados, but I'm going to go ahead and play it down and start powering it up. I don't want them to be able to just kill off my Goldeen and somehow win with that. So let's go for the Splash Burn once again. Uh, just so you know, you can't attack and then do other stuff. The attacking ends your turn, so I couldn't have attacked and then put Gyarados down afterwards, so he had to take that 10 damage if I wanted him down. Uh, we're gonna get Misty's Determination, so we can look for another good card. I might look for another of those Splash Energies, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's just see what they do. They might concede if they don't see a way out of this. Based on what they have down right now, I don't really see a way for them to get out of this either. So a lot of people that play Pokemon TCG online are going to have crazy decks with just tons and tons of EXs. Some people won't. Some people will just have decks that they just put together with a few booster packs they picked up and all that kind of stuff. And I think that might be the case here. Now, it might seem overpowered that I have all this uh, Gyarados action, but really I just I just bought a deck. It's kind of like buying a theme deck, but I just happened to buy the, the tin. So yeah, they take out the Goldeen as I kind of expected. Now, is that going to pass to my turn, or is that one of their Poke Powers? Yes, that was actually a Sneaky Bite Poke Power. So they could have uh, killed Goldeen and somehow killed Gyarados, and that would have ended it right there. Looks like they're going to send out Behem right here. He's got 90 HP plus, I think, 40 from that uh, thingamajigger, the uh, Tough Belt or whatever it's called. And put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. So I think right now they're trying to find some way to take care of this Gyarados right here. And will they be able to do it? I'm not sure. Mind Bullet going to do some big damage here, though. It's going to take uh, only 60 because I got the Hard Charm right there. So we're up to 130. They might be able to kill me here. So what I need to do is keep powering up this other Gyarados. So what I'm going to do is use Misty's Determination just to try to find more energy cards to use with that. Let's get rid of one of these Seeking. Not really any use for that. Do I have any energies? Let's see. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. That sounds fantastic. Uh, I think I'm going to go for... Oh, I could go for the Stadium and start dealing... Let's see. Once during each player's turn, the player may heal 30 damage from each of his or her water Pokemon and electric Pokemon. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that, actually, instead of the energy. And we'll put... Can I put that down now? Okay, I can put that down now. Now, how do I use it? There we go. Okay, we just click on it. And now I actually learned how to use it. There we go, guys. So I think at that point, they might not be able to do enough damage. And that's actually fantastic because all of my Pokemon are water. So even though I'm hurting my own guys, I'm healing the damage that they're taking as well. So now we're down to just two more prize cards. I don't even know if I'm going to need to use Staryu and Starmie, let alone Lapras. Okay, he's going to send out the Golbat right there. And they can't really do much. I think that we won this one, guys. Especially if they can't get rid of this rough season, we get to heal again. Uh, let's see, Team Flare Grunt, discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. At this point, we actually don't have four energy cards, so that might be a little bit of a stalling tactic. Unless I somehow draw an energy right here, we're not going to be able to actually attack, which is kind of bad. Uh, they're going to go over to Hunt Edge, actually, for some reason. I guess because they want to hold on to Golbat. Let's see here, turn all of your prize cards face up. Those prize cards remain face up, so I guess we could use that. Uh, we could search for a water Pokemon. So I actually don't have any way to attack, unfortunately. I can use my Stormy Seas, but let's go ahead and use the Rough Seas right here. I guess I'll play Town Map. It doesn't really do much for me, but I guess it'll turn my prize cards face up so I can see what I have there. And let's go ahead and play Stormy Seas and see what happens. I actually just want one. There we go. Okay, so we just got the one there. We'll go ahead and play that. And next turn we'll be able to attack unless they keep getting that Team Flare Grunt back, in which case they can keep removing energies from my guy. So let's just hope they don't have more of that guy and we should be able to win this. Let's see. So they're going to buff up their Skarmory right here. They're going to be able to do some pretty big damage. 
So they'll do 60 damage because there's a stadium card in play. They got rid of the stadium card, though, so that actually won't come into play. So I have to choose three cards to discard, it looks like. Um, I'll get rid of... I guess we'll get rid of these two and the Magikarp as well. And I'll keep the Star You Star Me combo just in case I decide to use that. All right, so it's back to our turn, and we drew a Magikarp. Let's just go ahead, get this turn over with. We don't have anything else we can really do aside from play the Dive Ball, which I don't really need. So we'll just go right into the Splash Burn, get the damage, get the prize card right here. I guess we'll draw Shauna just in case I need some kind of ace in the hole to uh, shuffle my hand into my deck and draw some cards. Let's see what they got here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing they can do to stop this. We're kind of just delaying the inevitable at this point. So... Let's see what you got. I don't think Skarmory or Golbat's going to be able to stop this. They've only got two cards in their hand. What could those two cards possibly be that'll stop this crud? Holy crud, we got an EX going. EX are just so powerful in the Pokemon TCG. I didn't really get much going last time with my Machamp, but this Gyarados is just killing everything. And it looks like... I just can't imagine. Okay, okay, we're screwed, dude. They got Dunsparce. We cannot possibly win now. Now we'll be fine. They're going to put Skarmory back out, but of course we'll one-shot that. They're going to try to do blow-through, I guess. It'll do 30 damage. Even if they put a Stadium into play, it's only going to do 60. Yeah, that's just not going to kill me there. And of course I got the Hard Charm, so it only did 10 damage, actually. And we're just going to go ahead and end things here, guys. So that's it! Splash Burn for the win! A clean victory right there, just totally owned. I actually felt kind of good about myself for a couple of those plays, but... Overall, I just think that we happen to have EXs, and I don't think that they did, so I think our deck was just a little bit better in that case. But anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely redeeming ourselves after that awful Machamp gameplay. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Take care.